Hello and welcome to this video on the Renko indicator from Quantum Trading. Now you may already be familiar with trading using a Renko chart and the advantage of using such an approach is that it does remove time from the trading process. And by that I mean that on a Renko chart because time has been removed you have set the parameters for the chart it is not based on time. And a Renko chart operates on the principle of a brick size. So you as the trader will define what brick size you want to set. In other words, every time perhaps two pips of price action have passed or three pips of price action have passed, that is your parameter for your Renko brick to build. On a normal time-based chart, of course, you set to a five five minute time horizon or a 10 minute time horizon or 15, that's when the candle or bar will close and it will move on to the next to form the next candle. On a Renko chart, you are removing time from that uh, approach. You are removing time from the decision making and the Renko brick will build according to the parameter you set, as I say, whether it's a pip, two pips, three pips, four pips, whatever. So that's the traditional approach with a Renko chart. And what we've done at Quantum is actually to extend that principle further by actually incorporating average true range into the calculation, what we call ATR. And what we've built into this indicator is really you have two options. The first option is the very traditional approach where you can set the size of the brick. I think everyone understands that approach with Renko. What we've developed is the ATR principle, which calculates and recalculates throughout the trading session and gives you the optimal setting for that brick to be built. In other words, rather than you set the size, the market dictates the size to you. It tells you through the ATR mechanism, the optimal setting for the brick size. So if the market is fast moving, then the brick size will be quite small. If it's slow moving, it will be much larger. And that is the principle on which the ATR operates. It's basically giving you an automated setting, but it's one based on the speed of the market. So it, combine, it combines all the best principles of the Renko, in other words, removing time, but it incorporates the momentum of the market. So the momentum of the market is actually delivering your optimal setting. So you are trading on the Renko chart at the speed of the market. And what I've done here is I've set up two very simple charts. We're on cable here, pound dollar. Really doesn't make a great deal of difference what you choose as your starting point, but I've, st I've chosen the hourly charts here. So I've got two hourly charts, both on cable. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up both alternatives for the Renko indicator. So if we start on the left hand side, just click that on to activate it. And we're going to insert indicator, we'll scroll down to our custom indicators and we'll scroll down to the Renko, which is down here. Just move that over here. And as you can see, we're going to operate in ATR. So as it says here, what mode are we going to use? We're going to use the ATR computed best box size. And we're going to use the custom period two, in other words, the M2 offline chart. So there's nothing else we need to do. We're going to operate on the ATR principle. We're just going to click OK there. And down at the bottom, we can see this message that appears in the pop-up window. It tells us that our computed box size at present is going to be 2.95. And it also tells us where to go and find our Renko chart, which is here. It says go to File, Open Offline, and find the pound dollar M2. So let's do that now. We go to File. We go to Open Offline. And then we have to scroll down here to our pound dollar M2, which is this one here. There we go. We left click on that to highlight it. And we click on the open here. 
And there we are. We now have our chart, our Renko chart set up. And I'm just going to click on a template which I've uh, got in the background here, which is our Renko template, just to pretty this up a little bit. And there we are. We now have our Renko operating on the optimal ATR setting, which was down here at 2.95. So that's the first approach. We move over here. The second approach is the more traditional one, which I'm sure you're familiar with. And if we go again, once again to insert, indicators, custom, and we'll go down to our Renko here. Just pull that over there. And what we have to do here, first of all, is to choose, uh, because we're on the same pair, we have to choose a different custom period. So I'm just going to change this to three because we can't use the same chart. We've already used the uh, M2 chart, so we're going to change that to three. And in the box below, you can see where it says mode here, ATR computed best box size. Just going to double click on that and a little drop down arrow appears. Click on the arrow. And what we want to do now is we want to go to a fixed box size. We want to choose our size of box. So we change that there. And down at the bottom here, you can see it says box size. And this is where we enter what value we want. So I'm just going to double click on that, remove that. And we're going to put in, let's put in 1.5 for example. And we'll save that. There we go. So we're now going to go to the M3. We've got a fixed box size and we've chosen a box size of 1.5. Pip and a half in other words. And now we get the pop-up window down at the bottom here. It says go to file, open offline, pound dollar M3. And you can also see here it's confirmed that we're on a box size of 1.5. So let's do that. We go to File, we go to Open Offline, scroll down to our pound dollar M3, which is here, and we click Open. Just move that over there, doesn't look very pretty at the moment, so let's put our template on again. Ah, uh, there we are. What's that? There we go. And there we are. And if we just resize that to make that look uh, nice, cover it over the uh, chart behind. Let's pull that up to the top there and just move that over there. There we are. So now we have our two Renko charts. Very different approaches. On the left, we have the ATR, which is constantly being recalculated, and that is the market defining for us and helping to give us the optimal setting to trade using the Renko approach. But if you prefer a more traditional approach over on the right, where you can set the Renko to your own preferred setting. But do remember that once you've used an offline chart, as you can see here, the M2, we had to choose a different offline chart for our next chart on the same pair, and we went for the M3, which is fine. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this particular video on the Renko indicator from Quantum Trading. You can find out more details on it over at quantumtrading.com and indeed all the other indicators. And as you can see here, we've got it working with the trend dots, and we've also got the pivots on there and also the support and resistance indicator, which all work beautifully with this approach. And at the bottom, we've got the trend monitor also. So all your indicators will work on the Renko charts in precisely the same way as, as they do on time-based charts. It's just a very different approach to trading. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, thanks once again and see you again soon and bye for now.